Tippenheimer and Jennings families, the city cousins went to visit their country cousins in Cricket County for the reading of their late uncle's will. The city cousins learned a lesson from their country cousins about the true meaning of giving and receiving. This year, the country cousins are making a trip to the big city. This is the countrified cousins' first time outside their corner of the world, and they're not sure how to act. The twins Brenda May and Glenda May still have a crush on Cousin Oswald, and Cousin Fester still likes to play with his axe. During this visit, the city cousins will try and teach some social graces to their backward relatives so they can attend a high society dinner. Laugh with us as we watch the story unfold and learn about the real meaning of Christmas. Excuse me, ma'am. I don't mean to be rude. It's awful cold out here. You might as well come inside. If you think you're coming inside, you're sadly mistaken. The family's expecting other kind guests, so if you would please... Wait, Elsie, what's taking so long? It's cold out here. Oh, goodness. What is that? That's my cousin Brenda May. My hair's in frostbite. Oh, dear, it does seem to damage something. something I need to tell you about my cousins. Although they have become quite wealthy from all the oil fields and diamond mines and coal mines and gold mines that they inherited from Uncle Zeke, they are still some very simple people. <laughs> That's wonderful to be so wealthy and yet be so down to earth. Well, Uncle Zeke was a very generous man. He even adopted orphan twin girls and when he passed, he included them as heirs in his family inheritance. Wow, he sounds like a wonderful man. He was. But this is their first trip out of their little hillbilly world, and I want to try to make this as enjoyable as I possibly can. Yes, sir. I will do everything in my power to make you feel at home. Thank you. Where are they? They should have been here by now. I hope they haven't got lost out in the city. Howdy! Hey! Latrissa, this! No, sir. I will take care of these homeless right away. Cousin Oswald, your pitch for sure is fancy, but you might as well come inside. It's cold out here. Cousin Oswald, it's me, Brenda May. Well, come on in, country cousin. Well, thank get you. out of the cold. Thank you, cousin Oswald. Oh, Brenda May. Brenda May. Glenda May. Esther, how you doing? Good to see 
Latrissa. These are my cousins from the country. Country cousins, this is our maid, Latrissa. Hi! It's wonderful to meet all of you, I'm sure. Oh, don't you run from me, cousin Oswald! Oh, are you sure you're glad to see me again? Are you uh, glad to see me more, cousin uh, Oswald? Uh, yes, uh, I'm, I'm glad to see both of you equally. My humble home. There's not even any cracks in the wall or nothing. Mm. I'm afraid I owe all of you a humble expression of regret for my previous omission. I was wondering if you could ever forgive such incompetence. Ooh, wee! That sure is some fancy talking! Yeah, that was fancier than a canoe with a buffet. I couldn't understand a word of it. I was just trying to apologize. May I take your
going to go get settled in with the rest of them, okay? You go. <laughs> oh, brother. Stairs to get settled in. And the twins? They're back to their flirting game again this year. You won't believe it. They actually expect me to propose to one of them before they head back there to the hills. Here comes the bride. Stop. All dressed in Look, burlap. Look, that's not funny. You brought it on yourself. How so? You remember the time we visited them in the hills? All they wanted to do was Talk about marriage. We should have put a stop to it then. Easy for you to say. They didn't fall for you. I never understood you back then. <laughs> Seeing I am the better looking of the two of us. Hmm. Well, if you were so good looking, then why did they want to marry me? Believe that they did have a thing for you. I would put them in their place from the very start. You would? Absolutely. You see, I'm not a softy like you. I lay down the law with women. Well, brother, maybe that's why you haven't had a girlfriend in over a year. I've been busy. So, let me get this straight. You wouldn't let the girls get anywhere. <laughs> no way, no how. Very simple. I've got to get these things to the back. Mm -hmm. Put those country bumpkin girls in their place. I'd like to put you in your place, dear. Well, I for one think you're better off without us. No doubt.
get us into that society, Marcia. Everybody who's anybody belongs. Well, Miss Tishwater is the one to impress. Tonight could be the magic night. Oh, yes, ma'am. You 
see, if I were single, then this choice would be almost impossible to make. But the fact is, I belong to all the ladies. And to settle down with just one, that would mean disappointing all the rest. Poor thing! Oh. That must be an awful feeling! It's horrible. I'm a prisoner of my own popularity. The ladies, they just won't leave me alone. My beauty, yes, my beauty, it's just a curse. A curse all this time? I thought we were meant to be together. Oh my goodness, my heart is breaking into a million <laughs> tiny pieces. Girls, I really feel bad about this. I mean, if only you could find someone who isn't as cursed as I. Then your hearts could mend once again. Oh, my heart. Christmas be without dear family members to spend it with. And you are our family. All us cousins sitting around here Christmas time. Which is why we wanted to throw a Christmas party in your honor. <gasps> a Christmas party for us? Did you tell 
them how the rehearsal was going to go. Well, rehearsal? All right, Country Bumpkins, listen up. You guys are in the city, and you need to know things are very different here than they are out in the country. You mean like having outhouses indoors? Well, I guess they call theirs in-houses. Here, have another break, Country. We're talking more about social situations. Yes. Things like, let's see, in the country, you say things like y'all. Here in the city, you need to say everyone. In the country, you say something like, fetch me that there water. Here in the city, you will need to say things like, please pull the car around, or how much are the pearls in the window? We feel that it's our responsibility to help you understand a few social grades. Sit up. Cross your legs. Petunia, get her feet. <laughs> Sit up. Petunia, let go. That's perfect. Just like that. Look, everybody. I'm a lady. Look, everybody. I'm entering the room. Hey, Hi, Hi, Everyone, be quiet. We have one hour to teach you all how to act like civilized human beings. We need your full concentration. Calm down, Mimi. Here, let me try. <laughs> Good luck. Everyone, the way we speak is very important. Elkin, how is your grandma? Well, she ain't got no teeth. Uh, Sounds like a motorboat went to snow her, but she's doing all right. Repeat after me. It doesn't look as though it will rain. It don't look no. like. No. Not don't. Doesn't. It doesn't look like it's going to rain. Not gonna. Going to. It doesn't look like it's going to rain. Good. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. 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 Brenda May, you're next. Say. Salted nuts, please. Pass that there. Not, not that there. Pass the salted nuts, please. Pass the salty nuts, please. Oh. Goodness gracious, this isn't going to work. Definitely not by tonight. Everyone, everyone. 
Repeat after me. I'll have to think about that. I'll have to think about that. Now, if anyone at the party tonight says anything to you you don't understand, just say, I'll have to think about that. Keep them out of trouble. I'll have to think about that. This is should be set. Oh, I don't know if I would say that. But how do I look? Beautiful. Oh, I do, don't I? Oh, I can't believe it! Oh, she makes me so angry. What is it, ma'am? Look, it's that Ginger Wells. She just added a full-size slide to her yard display. You still have a chance to win the contest. Against eight reindeer and a full-size slide? Oh, if I could just get my hands around her neck, I'd Are we ready? Well, everything's ready down here. I'll just go finish the work. Thank you, Latressa. Did you help the girls with their hair? Wait, I thought you were helping them with their hair. Um, no, I can oh, do my no, hair no, products. No, 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 no. Ladies, <laughs> she's going to be here any minute now. I know. <gasps> Are the boys ready? I think so. Pete's up helping them with their ties. All right. I am a nervous wreck. Mimi, you need to calm down. If Elkin and the clan sense that you're uptight, They'll get all flustered. At least we'll have a beautiful Christmas. 
questions for you to look at tonight during the dinner. Me. Okay. Me. Me. Sit down and breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. Do you feel better? Yes. No! She's here! She's here! Come down. Sit down. Okay, okay. I'll get it. Uh, look natural. Oh, brother. This is not good. This is not good. Good evening. Won't you? It's nice to meet you. Of course. Latrissa! May I have your coat, please? Of course. It's such a pleasure to have you in our home, Miss Fishwater. Oh, it would be, yes. Latrissa, would you please take their coats? Handle mine with care, dear. That hurts the real thing. Yes, ma'am. Did you know that? My, but she does have a swing in her step, doesn't she? Uh. Would you care for some salted nuts? Oh, Taylor, the store bought those things for you. Yes. Did you notice their lovely Christmas tree, Miss Fishwater? Yes. Oh, I see you prefer a smaller tree. How can that be? Smaller? Dear, if you want to see a real tree, you should come to my home. Mm, won't you ladies have a seat, please? Understand we're meeting some of your family this evening? Yes, ma'am. About that. Uh, oh, yes, Miss Fishwater. They own their own oil fields, diamond, gold, and coal mines. How delightful. Where are they? I would like to meet such fine people. Uh, they're still getting ready. I mean, you know how the wealthy just love to make an entrance. I do enjoy the company of opulent persons. So. I understand you're looking to join our society. Oh, we would be most honored, Miss Fishwater. Mm -hmm. It would make our Christmas the merriest ever. Well, one requirement is to have your name listed in the society papers. And I don't think I've ever seen yours. Well, you will very soon. We do plan to win the Christmas yard display contest this year. Oh, was that your live reindeer outfit? No, those are our neighbors, but we have Good a Good evening, everyone. Hey, I'd like you to meet Miss Fishwater. Miss Fishwater, this is Pete Sickenheimer. Miss Fishwater, my pleasure. I'm sure it is. So, Pete, are our dear family members ready to come join us? Well... Shame on you all for keeping me in such the thick. Shame, shame. Cousin Pete? That's Cousin Fester. That is Cousin Fester. That's Cousin Fester. That's Cousin Fester. Come on in, Cousin Fester. <laughs> Where is everybody? We're right here, Fester. This way. Everyone, I'd like for you to meet Cousin Fester. Howdy, Donna Jo. Oh. about 
that. <laughs> that makes you happy when I say that, doesn't it, Fancy City Lady? It sure does, Fester. How did you come to be so jocular? I think it was that chili I had for lunch. <laughs> Boy, Cousin Oswald, she's a happy one. I'll have to think about that. Fester, have a cookie. Thank you, Mom. Hey, Fester, you forgot your ass. Good gracious, he's going to kill me. Oh, Hand that to me. Fester, I'm going to sit it over here. Is that okay? I'll have to think about that. <laughs> Elkin, where is your shirt? Would you believe skinny cousin P here with me put one of his shirts on? You couldn't get it. I ripped it. I tried to put it on. I sure did. Good gracious. You are a a lagger! A shocker! No, ma'am, I'm a genius. Oh, Mr. Tudor, I demand to know what's going on this very minute. Well, you must be Miss Dishwasher. Dishwater, Elkin! Tishwater! Well, I ain't ever. Ben! <clears throat> I mean, I hasn't never met anyone as fancy as you before. Oh, please. Yes, ma'am. Remind me of Eloise back home. Oh, is Eloise your fiance? <laughs> no, ma'am. She's my prize pig. <laughs> She's the courteous portrait of the best. I have never. Would you show me to your lady friend, please? You ain't even got to go outside for that. Oh, I got one upstairs. Right this way, Mr. Potter. I've never. some music on to try and lighten the mood. Oswald, you need to go find what is taking the girls so long. Make sure they're ready. You can't let them continue to embarrass me. They're ruining my chances of joining the society. Come on, Pete. Music. You know what that means, don't you? What does it mean? It means you and me are in love. <gasps> it does? Yes, ma'am. And that can only mean one thing. You and I are going to get hitched. Oh, Fester, you are so strong. That's because I cut down trees with my axe. Oh, Fester, stop spinning her around. I'll teach you to flirt with my best friend. Meaning that won't be necessary. Marcia, you need to get your mind on the matter at hand. Mimi, I can't, I'm sorry. It's just that Fester and I heard beautiful music playing. What you heard was the stereo. Fester, sit. Marcia, there's something you need to know about Fester. He is a country bumpkin from the sticks, hillbilly. And you need to know that before you get too carried away. Carried away? Where do you want to go? Fester, I said sit. Miss <laughs> Tishwater, 
continue, someone is going to have to leave. Yes. Mimi, you can't. Oswald, I know what I'm doing. This is what is best for the society. Well, I'm glad she's come to her senses. Cousin Elkin, Cousin Fester, Donna Jo, Brenda, and Glinda May. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to stay. Miss Dishwater, the door. That's more. Uh, I beg your pardon. You can't be asking me to. I have never been asked to leave a dinner party. Maybe when Ooh. you behave in public, you will be invited back. Well, you'll be sorry. You'll all be sorry. I'll blackball you. Every social event in town. But, Miss Dishwater, what about the society? You don't be silly. I'm afraid you shot yourself in the foot. Nobody overrides my decision. <laughs> that is, unless your name is written in the society pages by Christmas Eve. And that clearly isn't going to happen. And here, girl, that is the ugliest tree I've ever seen. <laughs> well, don't leave mad, Miss Dishwater. Square dance ain't started yet. Oh, I've never. Oh. Well, that's okay. I can teach you. He can, too. He can. Yeah. Guess that's it. There goes my chances at joining the society. If that's the way the game's played, I think I'd rather sit on the bench. I'd miss dishwasher leave so mad, Cousin Oswald. Because she doesn't know real class when she sees it. Well, might be she's the jealous kind. I think it was because we were prettier than uh -huh. Come on, 
City lady, you can come with us. Trissa did go through a lot of work tonight. We might as well eat something. I'm with you, brother. But about this sudden attraction the twins have for me. up yet? I don't think so. They were up pretty late last night waving at cars. So it really happened? Oh, I was hoping it was just a nightmare. It was real, all right. And that's the reason I'll never step foot out of this house again. And Oswald, it's all your fault. My fault? You're the one who let them go out there and embarrass us in front of the whole neighborhood. I still say we did the right thing. Let me see that. A unique twist from the ordinary protection. 
portrayal of Santa Claus in gift getting. This display was one of the best and most unique we've seen in years. An undistorted, old fashioned look at the true meaning of Christmas. Old fashioned? I they thought Elkin and the bunch were the art display. What? We won! We won! Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the cast of A Cricket County City Christmas in the role of Oswald, Mike Clausing. <laughs> Playing Pete, Jeff Ray. As Mimi, Rachel Adkins. Playing Petunia, Miranda Taylor. As Marsha, Billy Sawafta. In the role of Miss Tishwater, Tanya Carter. And as Latrissa, Anna Gill Carter. As Cousin Elkin, Steve Kinney. As Cousin Fester, Keith Adkins. Playing the twins, Glenda May and Brenda May, Amber Kinney and Aisha Clausing. And as Donna Jo, Becky Robinson. Once again, the cast of A Cricket County City Christmas. Oh man, what a huge amount of work that went into that. Thank you for coming out. Thank you to the cast. Obviously, there's a ton of people who is working behind the scenes, but we would be remiss if we didn't thank Sister Kayla Rushing, Sister Jennifer Grant for helping direct.